you're asked for the electron configuration diagram for chlorine. I'm going to whip it down here. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. You can keep going to 4s, 3d, etc. But most of those are unoccupied for chlorine. What I mean is chlorine has 17 electrons. What I've drawn here is actually what you start all electron configuration diagrams with, and then your job is to fill it up with however many electrons you're being asked for. In this case, chlorine is 17. So let's go. One, two electrons, three, four, five, six, seven, by the way, I'm working from the bottom up. That's the Aufbau principle. Putting one up, one down in each. That's the Pauli exclusion principle. And spreading them out before I double them up. That's Hun's rule. That's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, stop. That's the whole thing. What that means is that including the 3D and the 4S is completely unnecessary. So let's pretend that never happened. And there you go. There is your electron configuration diagram for chlorine. Some teachers want you to include a little axis here that shows that you know its energy and that these ones are like the higher you go, the higher energy it is. But hey, there you go. Now, how did I memorize this? Well, to be honest, I've just done it so often that I've personally memorized it. But lots of the people that I see in the world or lots of the kids that I end up working with prefer to see this order of filling to help them remember. I want you to list all of the S's. You can go as far down as you want here in one column. And then beside 2S, I want you to write 2P. And beside 3S, it's 3P. And so all the P's are going to go in this column. That's a 5p, that's a 6p, keep going. The next one over starts at 3, and it's d, 4d, 5d, 6d. And then the f's start at 4, 5, f, 6, f, etc. You can keep going forever in all directions, but this is basically going to be all you usually need. And then to figure out what ones go first, you draw diagonal lines through these. So... Do your 1s first, we did. Do your 2s, we did. Do your 2p and then your 3s. Do your 3p and your 4s. Then 3d, 4p, 5s. 4d, 5p, 6s. Surely your teacher's not gonna ask you to, to do an electron configuration diagram up to cesium, are they? If they do, you start with the 4f, and then the 5d, and then the 6p, and then the 7s, etc. This is called the order of filling. This is just like a visual way for you to figure it out for yourself. But again, you came here for the electron configuration diagram. It's always the same, and then you just fill it up with however many electrons your teacher says they want. Cool? Cool. Welcome to the party. Best of luck.